Hey guys, what's going on? James here, and in this video today, we're going to be having yet another roundup of cuts that the Tampa Bay Buccaneers have made in an effort to get their roster down to 53 players. Shout out to Evan, who's done a really good job of tracking the cuts that have already been made, and we have even more releases to go through. So let's go ahead and get started. CJ Brewer, defensive lineman, has been released. You've also got safety Nolan Turner, running back Ronnie Brown, cornerback Anthony Chesney, defensive lineman Willington Prevlian, running back Patrick Laird, inside linebacker Brandon Boyer-Randall, and this one is a, probably the more interesting name out of the bunch, recent seventh round draft pick Jose Ramirez. Now, obviously all these guys were battling for roster spots, right? Nolan Turner battling for a backup safety job. Uh, Ronnie Brown, Patrick Laird, backup running back. Uh, CJ Brewer, Willington Prevlian, backup defensive line, right? Like, there were there was so many battles going on there. And I do think that some of these guys have a future with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Patrick Laird, I think, can be a guy put on the practice squad. Nolan Turner, Anthony Chesley, Brandon Boyer-Randall, Jose Ramirez. Those are five guys right there that I think you could have on the Bucks practice squad. It would not be surprising at all because all guys are at least veterans who kind of know their stuff and can do some things or are young players who still have some growth, some development there and could potentially be on the practice squad as well. If they don't have an opportunity to go elsewhere, I mean, even if they do, if they just want to stay with the Bucks, they can certainly do that. We've seen situations in the past where the Bucks have wanted to add guys to their practice squad and the players say, no. I'm going to go somewhere else. That has 100% happened before. Will it happen with any of those guys? I don't know. We're going to have to wait and see. The one guy that I would say it could most likely happen to is Jose Ramirez. Uh, he's a good athletic speedy pass rusher and there could be some interest there from other teams that would not be surprising for me but the other guys that are there you know I think the Buccaneers could probably comfortably get those guys back on the practice squad uh, and even some other guys like Ronnie Brown, Willington Prevley and uh, even like Brander Boy or Randall, you know, we don't know what their future holds, right? And it is unfortunate to see these guys get released and lose their jobs, right? After battling so hard throughout the offseason processes and whatnot. But um, it, it, it's unfortunately the business of the NFL, right? These things do happen and uh, they will continue to happen. And, uh, you know, it's just another round of it, unfortunately. Wish nothing but the best for these guys, by the way. And, and wherever they end up, um, you know, wish, wish wish nothing but the best for them. It could be with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers is where their future holds. Could be with some other teams down the line. But, yeah, the Bucks continue their roster cuts, folks. Jose Ramirez, you know, interesting, you know, twitchy outside linebacker, pass rusher type of guy. Nolan Turner, honestly, I thought he had a decent chance to make the to uh, make the team. I think that shows some some pretty good faith in some of those other younger safeties that they have back there. Anthony Chesley, you know, again, good special teams player. Decent backup cornerback, made some plays in the preseason and whatnot. I think he could be back. Uh, Patrick Laird, I thought, had a, a pretty nice little end there to his preseason. I think he could be back on the practice squad. And uh, Brandon Boyer-Randall um, is, is another interesting name in there as well. Just, a, just an inside linebacker that maybe you could have back there. But it also wouldn't surprise me if the Buccaneers carried five line, inside linebackers with, with J.J. Russell just being an absolute beast. So who knows, man. And then you've got some other guys like Willington Prevley and Ronnie Brown and uh, C.J. Brewer who did some interesting things but unfortunately did not make the cut. So we'll We'll see, man. Should be interesting. Let me know your guys' thoughts and opinions about these cuts down in the comments section below. I would love to hear them. What do you think about these roster moves that were uh, made? Do you like them? Do you not like them? Let me know your guys' thoughts and opinions. Uh, would love to hear them as well. And actually, just one more coming in. Patrick O'Connor was waived from the team also. So again, kind of another guy who, um, you know, was released. Veteran. Been on the Bucks for, for honestly, good long time now. And uh, he is also released. Again, I think it lends to the idea of some of these younger guys getting some opportunities moving forward now. Some special teams guys at that. And uh, Pat O'Connor, a bit of a long time buck getting released. He is a guy who could be back on the practice squad also. So again, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Hope you all enjoyed. See you all in the next video or the next live stream. But until then, and as always, guys, goodbye for now. And go Bucks.